What's up fellas? Adam here with Adam's Hair Stuff. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my way of prepping the face for a shave. Also, my post shave tips and tricks. So stay tuned. So what's up guys? Thank you for, for coming in and, and watching this video. Also to you guys who are new to the channel, I'm Adam and I like to focus my channel primarily on men's grooming tips and tricks especially the old school style of grooming tips and tricks. I also will switch up my videos and give you guys other content as far as you know, men's lifestyle, men's style, uh, men's apparel, stuff like that, and some barber, barbering tutorials, stuff like that, if you guys are barbers out there. So I just like to switch it up and uh, you know, give you guys different content. So like I said, guys, in today's video, we are going to show you guys my process as far as pre-shave and post-shave. Now what I mean by that is, is how I like to prep the skin for the shave and how I like to to close down and, and follow up after the shave with, with certain products. I'm not gonna really gonna go over how I how I shave in general or the process of me using the razor and stuff. Today's just gonna be primarily how to, how you how you prep the face. Alright guys, so we're just gonna go over a few of the things that you're gonna need to prep the face for the shave. So first things first is gonna be some type of towel. Uh, you just want to make sure that it is big enough to cover your face. You can use any kind of towel, washcloth, something like that, but this is just a, a barbershop towel. So first thing first is you're gonna need a set of towels. Next thing is optional, and that is going to be some type of oil, whether it be a, a pre-shave oil, a beard oil, jojoba oil, olive oil, something like that. All right, so the next thing is going to be obviously your, your shaving cream. Now, preference on this, you can use whatever you like. And then also you're going to be needing a type of brush, uh, whether it be a boar brush, a badger brush, something like this. Also, a shaving mug for your lather, and obviously your razor, um, whether it be a safety razor or a straight edge or, or whatever you like to shave with. And also, I'm going to show you a few of the, the, the post-shave things that I like to do and the use. So, first thing is going to be the um, aftershave, which again is preference, whatever you like you can use. Also, you're going to want, this is optional, uh, but I love to use it, I think it makes a big, a big difference, and that is some type of moisturizer. Um, this is just a vanishing cream from Suavecito. Um, you can use a Lucky Tiger vanishing cream or you can even just use regular regular unscented lotion. Um, and then the final thing that you're going to need is also a type of talc. Okay, or you can use uh, baby powder or something like that. But I recommend talc. And the other thing, last thing that is optional is a bump repair or some type of um, bump control. Um, the one I like is the Clubman uh, Bump Repair Gel. This stuff is awesome, so another optional thing, but works really well. All right, guys, so the first step that you're going to want to do is take your brush, get your sink running as hot as it, as it can go, and soak your brush in some water, hot water, in your shaving mug. Um, you know, let this sit until you're ready to use it. What this will do is uh, just allow the, the bristles on the on the brush to, to you know, absorb some moisture and to, to make it a little bit hotter, which is a good thing because heat is, is really good for opening up the skin and opening up the pores and lifting the hair follicle to prepare it for a shave. Okay, so the next step you're going to want to do is to uh, wet the face, wet the face down, okay, just get it, get it just a little bit wet wherever you're going to be shaving. Now, you can apply this to you know, a full face shave today, all I'm going to be hitting is underneath my neck and also just on my cheeks and stuff like that. But the same process applies uh, for a full face shave. Okay, so we're just gonna wet down the hair a little bit. All right. And then the next thing we are going to do is we're gonna grab a little bit of your oil. Like I said, this is optional. You don't have to do this, but I like to use it. And you're just gonna need just a little bit of this stuff. You ain't gonna need a lot. Um, and then what this is going to do is just add an extra layer of lubrication to the skin. So we're going to work it in our hands and just work it into the hair. Okay. And really work, work it in too. You know, you want to, we want to really get, give the hair a good amount of lift. Another good thing about, about doing a shave like this is it's actually really relaxing and it's also, um, it's just, it's just a good process to do, man. It, it really helps with razor burn and stuff like that. If you're prone to razor burn or bumps or anything like that, this will help mitigate that as little as possible. The next thing what you're going to do, next thing you're going to want to do is take your brush and your water right here, empty out the water from the shaving mug, and you're going to want to grab your brush and, and 
splash out some of the water, not all of it, but a good amount of it, okay? Now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our lather, whether it be um, a liquid lather like this or you can have um, a bar of, of soap or lather that you can, you can uh, fill your brush up with. Now I like, personally, the Lucky Tiger Liquid Cream Shave. This stuff works really well. Uh, I do like to use other kinds of soaps, but this one is uh, by far my favorite. Another one I like to use is the Derby Shave Stick or see here I also have an Arco shave stick which really good is really good for if you're traveling or something like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some of the lather onto the brush let's see if I can get this to focus for you guys um, we're gonna put some of the lather onto the brush just like this okay and then what we are going to do is we're gonna grab our mug we're gonna grab our brush with our lather and we are going to start building a lather inside of our mug okay so we're just going to do this for about, I don't know, about a minute or so, and we're going to build a lather. We're just going to keep swirling this until we get that lather built up. Sometimes you might need to add a little bit more water depending on if it's a little too thick or too dry. Um, you'll be able to tell because the soap is going to be really thick and kind of start to dry out. If that starts to happen, add literally just a touch of water. All right, so I've been working up this lather, guys. Now it's starting to get nice and thick. So how you know when your lather is is ready and is and is uh, thick enough for you is going to be when you are getting peaks in the lather. Okay, um, you'll see when you start to swirl it around, it'll start to make little peaks in the in the lather and it'll be nice and thick and creamy. That's when you know when the lather is ready. Okay, so you see how the lather is like kind of peaking a little bit on the brush. That's how you know when the lather is ready. Next step, what we're going to do is we're going to coat the brush with our lather, like this, and start working it onto the skin, okay? And what you want to do while you're doing this is really work it into the skin, go in circular motions, in both counterclockwise and clockwise, okay? And what this is going to do is really lift the hair to prepare it for the shave. Uh, and also help the skin open up a little bit. So just work this in as much as you like. This part is probably the best part of the shave is when you are exfoliating the skin with it with your brush. Now if you're doing, doing a full face shave, same thing, just do it around your whole face and make sure that you're doing counterclockwise and trying to really go against the grain when you're working in your lather, okay? Now the next step that you're gonna do is get your sink running. Grab one of your towels. What I like to do is to fold it like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it around your sink and hold it tight, okay? Around the around the, the nozzle on the faucet. And just get it, get the towel nice and warm. Grab this towel right here, and we're gonna push it up against our face and our skin. Okay. Basically what we're doing is we're creating a hot towel for the face. And this part feels really good. And just hold it on there for, I don't know, 20 seconds or so, 30 seconds. All right. And again, what this is going to do is really give the hair lift and open up the, the pores on the skin to really prepare that face for the shave. Okay. Now what we are going to do is we're going to grab our brush with our lather again. You're going to have a lot of lather left over and reapply. And going in clockwise, and counterclockwise motions to really get the hair lifted up. Okay, and at the last bit of it, what you're gonna do is we call this painting. And all it is is you're just painting painting the uh, the shaving cream into a solid um, into a solid you know one unit basically all around the face. Next step is to do a shave. So we're gonna grab our razor. I'm gonna be using the uh, the Dobo Shavette. This is what I like to use while I'm here at home. If your lather starts to dry up on your face, all you need to do is wet your hand a little bit and get some moisture back in there and get some water in there and that will lather it up again. Now when you guys are done with your shave, the next step is pretty important um, and this will help with a lot of razor burn or something or if you guys are prone to bumps or something like that. So now what we are going to do is we're going to do the same thing that we did with the hot towel. 
but we're gonna make a cold towel. So run your sink on cold water, as cold as you can get it. Just rinse, uh, soak your towel. And same thing again, open it up and push it against your face and where you just shaved. And what this is going to do is close down those pores and lock in the moisture. And that, what that does is prevents bacteria from getting into your into your skin. Okay, because that is how you get razor bumps is is in folliculitis is um, you get bacteria trapped in your hair follicle. Okay, so we're just gonna close down those pores with a nice cold towel. Okay, you don't want to brush or be abrasive with this. You you just really want to just tap it, pat your face and remove all of the excess um, lather that's on your face. So the next thing what we're going to do is we're gonna grab our aftershave. I like to use Lucky Tiger Bay Rum, classic Bay Rum. We're gonna grab a little bit of this. And again, just pat the skin. Okay. And what aftershave does for you guys is it disinfects the skin because there's a lot of alcohol content in, in uh, aftershave. Um, so what it does is it disinfects the skin and helps with uh, mitigating that bacteria. And the last thing, if you really want to do this, it's optional, is give yourself some fanning to dry out. Aftershave just feels good too, especially if you're using a, a, a shave cream that has some menthol or something in it. So a little bit of fanning. Now after you do the fanning, I like to use the vanishing cream. Or you, at this point, you can use some type of moisturizer. Um, you can even use a little bit of hand lotion. You can grab a little bit of this stuff and apply it to your skin. Because basically when you're shaving, what you're doing is you are removing the top layer of your skin, okay? So if you don't apply a moisturizer, it's gonna feel really tight, okay? So make sure to apply a little bit of a moisturizer after you are done shaving to help the skin repair. If you guys are prone to razor bumps, and folliculitis or or you know razor razor burn is to grab a bump repair gel at this stage okay now all you got to do is apply the stuff is just like a gel you can just work it in and you can apply it sparingly um, into specific areas or you can apply it to your whole face or into you know wherever you need the stuff works really well for for helping with razor burn also if you already have razor burn apply this stuff twice a day uh, once in the morning, once at night, and I guarantee you your, your razor burn will be will be uh, healed up a lot faster than if you didn't. Then what we're gonna do, grab our towel, the way I like to fold it is I fold it in half, fold it again, and then do it a half fold like this, okay? And I'm gonna use the back side of the towel. We're gonna grab our talc, and we just need a little bit of talc, about that much. And then we're gonna work it into our towel, and talc up our face. That should do it guys that is the whole process to uh, a, a pre-shave and a post shave that I like to do also what you guys want to do before you begin to shave your your face is you want to make sure that your face is clean okay you want to make sure that you wash your face wash the areas that you're gonna shave to to rid it of any bacteria or any dirt or grime anything like that because if you shave with the dirty with dirty skin or a dirty uh, dirty face uh, you're going to really up your chances of getting bacteria locked down into your pores and into your follicle. And then you're going to get folliculitis or, or a boil or something like that, which is really nasty stuff, man. You don't want to want to mess with that stuff. So always make sure that you're shaving on clean skin, okay? I cannot stress that enough. It's clean skin. So that wraps it up for this video, guys. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. And I hope you guys learned a lot from it. I know that there's a lot of content and a lot of things that you can do with, with shaving and stuff like that. And all of it is um, it's pretty straightforward. I know that some things can be you know a bit of a learning curve, but most of it's pretty straightforward. As far as the products and stuff like that, like the aftershaves, the soaps, stuff like that, is all preference. You can use anything that you want. That's the beauty of shaving. It's kind of like pomade. You can use anything that you like. And there's so many products out there for, for shaving needs. Um, you know, so many different soaps, so many different um, pre-shaves, so many different um, aftershaves, stuff like that. It's also a big market. So be sure to check out and try different things because there's so many out there. I recommend also building up that collection because it's it's a cool thing to do and, and gives you options. So again, I appreciate all you guys watching the videos. And if you have not yet, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. Also hit that like button 
and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet and turn on that notification bell. I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, guys, this is Adam with Adam's Hair Stuff. and We will see you guys next time. Take it easy.